A recent focus on New York City's crackdown on illegal marijuana shops, 8th Avenue in Manhattan, about to become one of the homes to the city's newest legal dispensaries. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live in Hell's Kitchen with the details for us this morning. Anthony? Well, Mike, that's right, and this is a proud day for any licensed cannabis seller here in New York. The shop here on 8th Avenue celebrating a grand opening today just steps away from where at least a couple of illegal shops were shut down after smoking the legal competition. And today, as I mentioned, Nichols, which is a state-licensed cannabis dispensary, celebrating the grand opening on 8th Avenue near 48th Street. The shop will legally sell only state-approved and certified cannabis products. Its owner is supported by the New York Cannabis Social Equity Investment Fund. Nick Corey credits that fund for helping him get his business started and discussed with us his passion for legally selling cannabis. My hopes are, again, that we can just provide a, a safe, comfortable environment where we can really change the stigma of what cannabis has been painted out to be. Now, the market uh, thus far has been saturated with dozens of illegal storefronts, some selling a lot more than weed that have been shut down in recent weeks. The owners and landlords handed stiff fines and penalties in order to protect the state's licensed sellers who have been stifled. And back here to a live picture, you can see plastered on the front door of this business opening up, licensed dispensary, the state in recent weeks shutting down 114 illegal shops and seizing nearly $30 million worth of product. We're live in Hell's Kitchen. Anthony Carlo, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.